All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Friday, and earlier we talked about the uh, Republican event that took place inside the Grand Hyatt yesterday and uh, in here in New York City. And uh, now it's time to bring in our favorite, our only, Molesburg uh, correspondent, Nora DeBroder, who hit the streets outside the event to talk to the protesters. Olé, 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 olé. The people united will never be defeated. The people united. So why are you here today? Stop Donald Trump and all the right-wing politicians. Sorry, I can't hear you. Stop Donald Trump and all the right-wing politicians. Gan, what are you doing out here today? Standing with the Donald man. What do you like about Donald? Sorry? I said, what do you like about Donald? Oh, he stands for American values. Your poster says, death to white supremacy. What does that mean? Um, very self-explanatory. Down with the down with the power structure. Down with white supremacy. Are you suggesting that Trump is a white supremacist? Um, I know a lot of his following is. So, are you a Donald Trump fan? I am. Is that why you're on this side of the street? Yes, because I just seen a guy get attacked by Bernie supporters as well. Voting will not bring us revolutionary socialism, and that's what's necessary is genuine revolutionary mobilization starting in one country and spreading throughout the world. We are communists, we are Trotskyists. Yeah, I bet you are. All right, so Nora, um, it, it, the beeps, a lot of beeps in there. That's because it was cursing around you? Lots of cursing. Lots yeah. of curses Trump, if you can imagine. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. All right, and, and every possible, I mean, that guy should learn to be a good anarchist. You never pull your little thing off your face if you're an anarchist because you just blew his cover. Right, right. He revealed who he was. <laughs> <laughs> he was a rookie anarchist. And yet yeah, probably had every left-wing radical organization represented there. Yes, a lot of people for the Green Party, actually. A lot of a Green Party and Trotsky. It's Trotskyites, whatever. Right? <laughs> Thank you, Nora. Appreciate yeah. it. All right, folks, time to take our phone calls on this Friday at 877 Newsmax. And let's go first up to Paula from Daytona, Florida. Hello, Paula. Hi, Steve. How are you? Fine. How are you? Okay. I am very happy to talk to you. You're Thank a wonderful guy, and I like your show. Thank you. It's a pleasure, and it's an honor for me to speak to you. Thank you. Thank you. I support Donald Trump. And I hope and pray every day that he will become the president of this country. Now, what is your background, Paula? Where, if I could ask, where are you from? Okay. I was born in Casablanca. You know the movie Casablanca? Yeah. <laughs> Play it okay. again, Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I was born in Casablanca. I was living for 20 years, went to school there. Then I went to France, got married, I had my children. They were born in Paris. Then 35 years ago, I came here. I was an immigrant like everybody, but immigration was different from those days. Right. You came here they legally, you, right? They make you sign the paper yeah, yeah. that you don't ask one penny to the country. We worked hard for what we have. Nobody gave us nothing. I worked three, four jobs. My children, they are all successful, professional doctors, lawyers. Well, Paula, that is, that is great. So what is the main attraction uh, to you uh, for Don, Donald Trump's attraction? Is it the immigration issue? No, everything. He represents everything why an immigrant person comes to this country. He represents the hope for the future of the children, the strength of the education. He represent everything, jobs, everything what America used to have to offer. Well, Paula, we Paula, don't have nothing. You should be very proud. I know you are very proud of yourself and the job you did with your children. And thank you very much for watching. Please tell your friends and call again. Have a great weekend. Let's go to David from Millington, Tennessee next. Hi, David. Hi. Good to talk to you, um, sir. I, you too. I just said I'd call it. Uh, I'm kind of uh, active in the Millington area as far as politics myself, I should say. Um, I even know Terry Rowland, uh, our, uh, our commissioner, Shelby County Commissioner. Um, from Millington here. Uh, he, uh, I just wanted to call and say, whenever, um, uh, whenever a president is running, I kind of wonder what their qualifications are, and, and that's where I start from. So many other people do also. Uh, no multi-million dollar corporation ever says, uh, we need a CEO. Um, hey, Miley Cyrus is a cute little girl, and she can sing, and besides she's popular, let's, let's elect her. Uh, they elect somebody like Donald Trump, somebody who actually knows 
what to do and how to do it. And that's that's where I'm standing as far as this election goes. When Barack Obama was running, I, I said to myself, he's a lawyer. What are his qualifications? Are we going to sue somebody? You know, uh, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton, they're lawyers. Uh, Ted Cruz is a lawyer. Hey, you know, David, David, how, how old are you? Can I ask that? I'm 65. Oh, I was I would have guessed like you were 23 from your voice and your enthusiasm. <laughs> well, th that's great. No, good for you. And um, and and I'm glad you're out there and keep up the enthusiasm. And please call again and tell your friends about the show and have a great weekend. Folks, up next, uh, Ronald Kessler, New York Times bestselling author. We'll talk some politics with him. Don't go away.